Hello again. So what we are trying to do is to straighten all of these photos so that all of the vertical lines are perfectly vertical. I hear that Photoshop has a straighten function somewhere. Let's try to find it. Automate. Crop and straighten. Okay. Where the hell did Automate go? Here we go. Let's give it a whirl. Well, what's going on? Is it doing something or what? OMG. What the hell just happened? That's dumb. I don't see anything straightened here. I will just get rid of this. Wait. No I won't. I don't know what to do. I'm freaking out right now. That's a different photo of the same room. Damn it. I closed it. Alright. Think rationally here. Let's close out all of the weird images that Photoshop came up with. Okay, here is the original. And here is a very straight fan from the ceiling. Well that did not work out the way I wanted it to. I will pull out vertical guidelines from the vertical ruler and do it myself. Turns out all of the vertical lines in this photo are actually straight anyway. This little thing is catching my eye so I will pull the photo just a bit to get rid of it. Much better. I think this photo is haunted or something so I am getting out of here. The bathroom matches the kitchen. Mommy likey. Now you can tell by the vertical guides that this photo will need to be skewed outwards on the bottom. The right side isn't too bad but I plan to crop some of that off anyway. Let's see if our friend Photoshop can fix this for us in lens correction. Nope. Lens correction has a manual way to do it. We will go into the tab towards the top called Custom. Here we can try to adjust the vertical perspective and hopefully the lines in the photo will straighten up. Wow, it's like magic. Let's adjust the grid a little bit and really make sure it is lined up the way we want it to be. Reminds me of a song. Oh, ho, ho it's magic. You know. Never believe it's not so. Now let's just crop off the wall on the right to give more focus to the bathroom. That's a little too much and we are losing part of the light fixture. Perfect. Bathroom looks awesome. Now for my next magic trick I will work wonders on this kitchen. I made the wall invisible so that the pipes are visible underneath. It's magic, I tell you. Now let's put the walls back. Hopefully the patch tool will be able to repair the holes in the wall. Boom. Magic. Boom. More magic. Magic is all around us. Let's get rid of these little buggers. Magic. Alakazam. There is a little bit of a dark smudge here. Let's use the patch tool to clean that up. Looks like there is a little bit of noise in the photo. For my next trick, I will be using a denoise plugin from Topaz Labs. See how well that cleans the noise up. I swear I am a wizard. Okay. While this is processing, how about a joke? At one of my magic shows, I performed an amazing trick someone screamed out, Wow, how did you do that? I said, I would tell you but then I'd have to kill you. After a moment's pause the same voice screamed out can you tell my mother-in-law? Ha 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 ha. I'm here all night folks.
Okay, let's get rid of these holes near the window. Boom, magic. What kind of outlet is that? Oh, a telephone outlet. Do people still have house phones? Okay, let's make sure the vertical lines are all straight. Pull out guidelines and align them with the vertical lines of the photo. They are not lined up correctly. Hopefully Photoshop can correct that with lens correction. Nope. It wasn't something Photoshop wanted to correct. Using skew and transform, pull the corners until the lines are straight. There, all straight. Save and on to the next one. Looks like the walls are invisible again. Due to magic, we will have to put the walls back using the patch tool. That didn't work how I wanted it to. Let's do that again. That's what I like to see. More patch tool fun. Perfect. I won't be able to use the patch tool to cover this hole. Let's try the stamp tool. See you later hole in the wall. It looks a little funky under the sign. Let's fix it some more. I am going to dwell in the possibility that this can be completed correctly. We will just add a little bit of shadow from the left side of the sign to the right side and hopefully that will clear up the issue. Looking good. Now let's check the vertical lines and how straight they are. Straight as an arrow. Let's save and move on. Oh wait a minute wait just one minute. There is another damn hole in the wall above the refrigerator. I can't use the patch tool for this either so I will try to fiddle with the stamp tool. I will just get this hole roughly filled in and then try to smooth it out afterwards. Hole is gone. Magic. Now let's use the patch tool to get rid of all those strange smudges. There are still some weird black cords on the top of the fridge. Let's just get rid of those as well. I'm a genius. Everything is looking beautiful. Let's move on. Oh, man. What's up with that? Some of these holes are behind the drop lighting fixture over the table. Let's get this easy one out of the way with the patch tool. Easy peasy. Now we could attempt to use content aware in Photoshop but I don't think that Photoshop ate its Wheaties this morning. It won't work out how I would like it to. Let's use the stamp tool. I will use the lasso to select the area I would like to fill in so that I don't accidentally stamp over the light fixture. Here is what happens if I were to try to use the patch tool. Oh hell no. We will leave that selection and just fill it in with the stamp tool. 
Swipe, swipe, swipe. Looks good. Just needs a little bit of cleaning up. I keep the stamp brush very soft. That keeps the edges from being noticeable while stamping away. Okay, let's get the lasso tool out again and lasso around the light fixture and the hole in the wall. Playing with the lasso is the closest I will ever come to being a cowboy. Okay, now that we have that selected we can go ahead and stamp in the wall. Looks good. Just need to clean up around the edges of the selection we made. Okie dokie. Ugh, there is another hole hiding behind the light fixture. I could take out the pen tool to make a selection of where I would like to stamp in the wall around the light fixture, but I don't want to do that. I think it will be quicker if I just try to do it by hand. It is filling it quite nicely. Let's zoom in to make sure we fill everything in. Maybe it would have been quicker to use the pen tool. You live and you learn. You know what I'm saying man? Where did the hole go? Looks damn good. There are some dark smudge marks from the stamp tool so let's just try to smooth that out. Okay, now back to an easy fix. Use the patch tool. That is magical to me every time. Now let's all take a moment to dwell in possibility. I feel like I have been dwelling in this kitchen for quite some time. Let's try a different approach than last time. Let's stamp tool using horizontal strokes this time instead of vertical like before. Alakazam. No hole. Let's add in a bit of shadow under the sign. Okay let's not. Looks good. Now back to making sure the vertical lines are vertical. Pull out the vertical guidelines from the vertical ruler on the left. Now we will just pull the corner until it seems straight, using transform skew. All good in the hood. Let's save and move on. Who is coming into this house and just cutting holes everywhere? We have another hole to repair. Let's use the stamp tool and stamp that baby out. See you later hole. Now I will just take the patch tool around the area to smooth it all out. Smooth as a baby's bottom. My work here is done. Thank you for watching. I hope you are learning about post-processing real estate photography photos in Photoshop. Goodbye.